Hi everyone, and welcome to this F Facebook Live. I'm hoping that this video will help you to just open and let go of whatever inner conflicts you're carrying at this moment. I don't think I have to tell you that right now the, our external world is experiencing tremendous stress, tremendous tension, tremendous conflict. And all this is a reflection of what most of us are carrying inside, in our own personal worlds. There's so much pushing and pulling going on within us all the time that if we allow ourselves to be open to it, we can discover that these inner conflicts are easy, easy to dissolve. And when we do that, our whole world changes. So join me in this exploration. So in this moment, could you just simply allow yourself to just stop? and open to or be present with what is. And simply allow yourself to be what you are. And be what you are. And be what you are. And then allow yourself to think of an, any conflict you're feeling within yourself or any conflict you're reacting to in the world. By the way, if you pay attention, you'll discover there is no difference. If you're experiencing a conflict in the world that you have an inner reaction to, then it's your conflict. It's within your consciousness. And because of that, you can completely transform how you perceive it, how you experience it, and how it affects you. And as you focus on this conflict, allow yourself to focus on your point of view about it. You have a particular point of view on this conflict. You may be absolutely certain that your point of view is the correct point of view. And that's natural. When we have a point of view on any situation, we assume that it's the truth, that it's the only way to see it. So could you welcome your perception of this conflict? And then could you welcome to any wanting to fix it, change it, control it, manipulate it, get others to agree with you, get others to see it your way. And then could you welcome as well any sense of identification if you're feeling conflict, that means you're identified with this particular issue. So could you welcome that? Could you welcome any sense of I, me, or mine? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go of your fixation with that particular point of view? I'm not saying invalidate it. I'm not saying deny it. I'm just saying let go of the attachment or the fixation or the identification with that particular point of view. Could you just set it free? Let it go. Allow it to unravel as best you can.
And then could you open yourself to pure awareness, that which has no point of view? Or could you just simply check? Are you that particular point of view, even though it may feel that way? Or are you that which is aware? And then in this moment, allow yourself as best you can to see that conflict from the other side. Now, I know this may be a stretch and it may seem like you don't really want to do that. But if you open yourself to that, it allows for true healing. And it allows for you to go beyond both points of view. So in this moment, could you allow yourself to open yourself to the opposite point of view you were just invested in as best you can. Could you welcome it, allow it, be present with it? And then could you welcome too any wanting to fix it, change it, control it, understand it? do anything with or about it. Could you just be present with that as best you can? And then could you welcome as well or be present with as well your investment in rejecting that point of view and holding it away? Could you welcome any identification you have with opposing that point of view? Could you welcome any sense of I, me, or mine? And then could you welcome too any sense that any of this is personal about you or who you are? Even if it's just a, a conflict in the world, if again, if you're responding to it with any emotion, then there's some identification. So could you just welcome that sense of I, me, or mine that's part of what you're perceiving? Could you just let it be here? And then as best you can, just for now, could you let go of your inner opposition to this point of view? Now you may be wondering if, if you think it's a terrible point of view, why would you be wanting to let go of your opposition? When you oppose a particular point of view, you empower it. In fact, the more you oppose it, the more you empower it. So as best you can, just for now, could you let go of any inner opposition? Could you just set it free? Let it go. Allow it to unravel. Again, just do that as best you can. And then in this moment, check, are you that point of view or the opposition to that point of view or even the one who's invested on, in either side? Or are you that which is aware? Really look as best you can. I think if you really look, you'll get a sense that you're beyond any point of view. You are the awareness. Shh. 
And then in this moment, could you allow yourself to welcome how someone who was completely uninvolved but affectionately aware of this conflict would see it? Could you just welcome that? Could you welcome how the universe sees it? How unlimited beingness sees it as best you can. This may be a stretch, but just do it as best you can. And then could you welcome too any wanting to do anything with or about that. Maybe even make it more clear to you or open to it. And then could you welcome to any sense that even that's personal about you or who you are. And then as best you can, just for now, could you sit back into that more universal point of view? What if, just what if, you are what's beyond all points of view? You are that which is affectionately aware of all points of view, but bound to none. Could you just welcome that at least as a possibility? And could you do that even more? Could you open to the affectionate awareness that you are that is completely unbound, unlimited, boundless, timeless, spaceless, dimensionless, all presence. And could you just let yourself be that? And notice as you allow that, and from the releasing you just did, that your inner conflict about this is probably starting to lighten up, if it's even still there. So I highly encourage you to watch this a few more times and just open to that which is beyond all points of view. It will benefit you tremendously on a personal level, but it's exactly what the planet needs right now. All of us to disengage from all this conflict and look for what's in all of our highest and best good. If we were willing to do that without investment, without identity, there is always solutions, often beyond what any of us could have imagined. And if you'd like to explore more work like this, I'll be doing a whole week or a whole six day seminar on dissolving conflicts from many different perspectives. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being who you are. And until the next time, bye-bye.